Now this is part two of the twin pregnancies that we were studying and uh, as the patient was restless and could not stand much or cooperate much therefore I left this section, freezed it and I am going to uh, let you know that uh, how will we define this twin pregnancy regarding uh, zygoticity and uh, chronic, uh, chorionicity? Now this, uh, if you see, there are two yolk sacs that are separated by, <coughs> sorry, by two gestational sacs, by a thick membrane. That is, if you concentrate on uh, this region, this is one sac and this is the other sac and you can clearly see they, they are separated, both sacs are separated by their own individual decidual autophoblastic ring. So such type of a pregnancy, twin pregnancy, in which uh, a thick membrane separates the two gestational sac. You know, this is a thick membrane. This is a thick membrane separating this yolk sac from this yolk sac, or this yolk sac is being separated by this thick membrane. So there are two thick membranes. You are seeing when you see two thick membranes. This is a case of. This will be a case of uh, diamniotic and uh, dichorionic pregnancy. Had there been only a single membrane, both yolk sacs, could, if both yolk sacs had uh, only one thick membrane, they should, they should, you see two here, okay? And if you see only one with no separating, then that will that would have been we would have said that well this pregnancy is can is defined as uh, uh, monochorionic and diamniotic because uh, amniocity is uh, presentation in fact later on. And if the two fetuses are not separated by any membrane whatsoever, and there is, let's say, two, you see two fetal, fetal poles with not, no membrane in between, there becomes a mono, uh, mono pregnancy, monozygotic, monochorionic pregnancy. So this is how we uh, differentiate between. Uh, twin pregnancies and uh, also if remember that uh, the most common twin pregnancy that we come across is this that you are seeing that the diamniotic and dichorionic pregnancy and the least that you will be seeing it will be monochorionic and uh, monozygotic because uh, it uh, has a poor prognosis, more than 70% of cases are that of what you are seeing in your screen, two yolk sacs that are separated by two separate thick membranes. So each uh, fetus will be having its own placenta and will not be borrowing from the other placenta. So if you remember this classification, it will help you in classifying the twin pregnancy into dichorionic, diamniotic, monochorionic, monozygotic in which there will be no membrane in between the sacs. You will see two fetuses in one sac and uh, the uh, third one monochorionic and diamniotic in which you will see only one membrane separating the two gestational sacs. It will give on the same, almost the same picture, except that there will be only one thick membrane, not two. So this uh, uh, 
was to uh, a little video segment, small video segment, mm -hmm. to study the types of twin pregnancies. 